Hey there, it's Alina, your friendly nuclear physicist, and today we're gonna be doing a new different. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, it's Alina, your friendly nuclear physicist, and today we're gonna be doing something new in this channel. We're gonna be making a video nuclear physicist reacts, and we're going to be reacting to some Simpsons episodes that are related to nuclear energy. And we're going to watch them together and see what is accurate and what is not, and generally have some fun. So let's get into it. I found this first video called Nuclear Inspectors. Uh, seems very nuclear related to me. So let's see what this is about. Okay, starting off nicely by sleeping on a ship. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I think there is going to be quite a lot of pauses here. The Kind of room that this person is sleeping in uh, is called a hot cell in a nuclear power plant or in a waste plant facility and this green liquid or whatever is behind him is supposed to be radioactive nuclear fuel of course you're not supposed to be sleeping there you're not supposed to be even in that room that's why the two mechanical robotic hands are there because you're handling the waste on the outside with the uh, kind of things in the buttons Distraction of the current on one button. Ten That's seconds. Nine, Why? Eight. Meltdown averted. Good boy. <laughs> okay, I get that this is the night shift. Usually, that's what they say about the night shift. disturb me during nap time. We're from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. This is a surprise test of worker competence. There must be some mistake. We, okay, uh, that, that actually can happen. Uh, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission can actually come in nuclear power plants and nuclear facilities as a surprise and inspect you uh, for different kind of things like re level of radiation or competence of uh, staff in basically any kind of day because you have to be prepared. It's not like they're going to let you know. We make cookies here. Mr. Burns, old-fashioned, good time, extra chewy. Get the axe. Very Homer Simpson present. Oh, I'm afraid he couldn't be here. <laughs> yes, yeah. oh, yes, he's in Geneva, chairing a conference on nuclear fission. Yes. <laughs> Geneva is the headquarters of the International Atomic Energy Agency, that's why he says Geneva. Should stick. Bottom. No, my Actually, it's not in Geneva, it's in Vienna, in Austria, so never mind. Bottom big! <sighs> Homer, this is an exact replica okay. of your workstation. Hmm? Now we're going to simulate a power surge in core sector 8. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, so this is actually a thing. It doesn't look like a van, it looks more like a room. And uh, it is basically a simulator, the same way like uh, pilots that fly airplanes uh, do simulations and trainings like that before they actually fly an airplane. Similarly like that, a operator of a nuclear reactor has to also do simulations in terms of like normal operation of a nuclear power plant and also accident scenarios because typically an operator will never experience accident scenarios or probably very minor ones but nevertheless they have to be prepared for even the major ones and know how to react and have a quick response and if nothing really happens in the power plant very often which is the case then you might kind of forget it or get rusty so they do do simulations and they also do like eight hour shifts on simulators that they actually have to be standby and always pay attention to what's happening and pretend as if it is a real uh, reactor core they have to handle what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, he doesn't seem like he knows what he's doing. In the name of God, you gotta tell me! Relax, it's just a simulator. Nothing can go wrong. Just poke blindly at the controls until they let you go. Oh, oh, oh. No, this can't be happening! Okay. I don't know how he wants to do that. For the love of God, sir, there are two seats. I like to put my feet up. So he turned the uh, simulator radioactive. Uh, of course, there's no fuel inside the simulator. So Must destroy really accurate, mankind. 
Ooh, lunchtime. I'm still not sure how he caused the meltdown. There wasn't any nuclear... I think uh, what they were actually spraying on here should in real life be cement. If he turned the truck nuclear, then the cement would be a really good barrier for radiation to not contaminate the area around and also not have radiation uh, spread out to the air and the people who are working around it. Even though here they do seem like they use, I don't know, looks like some foam or even water. If it is water, then it is very much wrong because it would actually not help much. But uh, yeah, let's see. We're still not sure how he caused the meltdown. There wasn't any nuclear material in the truck. Oh, very okay. well, it's time for your bribe. Now, you can either have the washer and dryer where the lovely Smithers is standing, or you can trade it all in for what's in this box. The box. The box. Look, Burns, this is a big problem. You just can't throw money at it and make it go away. Gentlemen, I've decided there will be a no investigation. Now, if you excuse me, I'll go away. You're in big trouble, Burns. Homer Simpson's job requires college training in nuclear physics. Now, you get your man up to speed, or we'll be forced to take legal action. Is that so? Well, I have the feeling you'll be... Dropping the charges. <laughs> Ooh, the painters moved your desk, sir. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess that was it. Uh, yeah, it was quite fun. A little bit inaccurate, of course. It's a cartoon, uh, but yeah, all in all, it was actually my first experience watching a Simpsons episode. I've never watched Simpsons episodes, nuclear or not. So yeah, it was quite fun. So I guess maybe we can check out some more. Thanks for tuning in for this reaction video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below about what you thought regarding this video as well as what you want me to react to for the future videos. It's been Elena, your friendly nuclear physicist and until next time, see you soon!